hello friends so now in this video i am going to show you how we can make admin login page so first of all this is the admin template this admin template we have login page then we have index page here we are going to make partition of this page and then this is the table page so from here we can take table format for designing purpose we can use this so you can find this template download path in video description so please download this template file and after download this template file when you are going to download you will get this folder after that i am going to copy these all things then here i am going to create new folder new directory admin so now we have admin folder and inside that i am going to paste we have to wait yeah so you can see we have now this admin folder here so in admin folder you can see we have this file name page login this is for login so here i am going to add new php file name index so this is the index.php and i am going to delete this file now from this page login i am going to copy these all things and i am going to paste here so now when i am going to run here localhost online quiz admin slayers so you can see we got directly admin page because we change our login page name to index page index page will run directly that's why now we are going to change heading first of all now you can delete this file also paid login now we don't require this so i delete that file now here i am going to use admin login so you can see here uh, heading is changed now we are going to change here also so for that this one so i am going to write admin login and now we are going to see here we got here but font color is black so i am going to change here style color white so now this is the admin login now here we are going to use username and password so here i am going to change username here power here input type text here placeholder username so username password we don't need this remember me and forgot password so i am going to delete this we are going to check here yeah now this is a sign in and we don't need this all things so here i am going to delete that all yeah so this is the simple now now we need form tag so we have already this form tag but here we need to give name form one then we need to give Edson and we need to give method post yeah and now we don't need to do partition here because uh, this theme is totally different means login page design is totally different than our other pages so here we don't need to make partition but here we need to add connection file so include our connection file is outside like we can see right now we are on admin folder but our connection file is outside so we need to go one step back so this is the one step back and now we can write connection.php 
so we added connection.php here now form page is also added button type submit and here we need to give name so i am going to give name submit one and then we can write here php here we can write if is set dollar underscore post submit one because our button name is submit one that's why and i am going to write simple here equal yes this is working yeah so now i am going to press this button directly and you can see we got message here yes this is working it means our button is working but when user entered invalid username or password on that time we need to use proper message for that we are going to use bootstrap alert so i am going to find from internet bootstrap alert We are going to take this one and we are going to take this danger one so i am going to copy this copy and we are going to paste here directly and now we are going to check we got a proper location or not yeah we need one br so sometime br is not working so if br does, doesn't work we are going to use margin top yeah you can see br doesn't work I am going to take your style and margin top. I am going to take here 10 pairs. Yeah, now we are going to change the string. I am going to write here invalid username or password. Now we are going to check yeah we got here invalid username or password so we are going to remove this so yeah now it looks perfect now we need to hide this so here i am going to take display none so now this is hidden now we need to make one table in database so localhost i am going to take php my admin and here in our database our database name is online quiz here i am going to create new table admin login and i am going to take three field id 5 here primary key then auto increment then username where here 100 and I am going to take password here here hundred. Now save. Yeah. So now I will enter directly one record here. So from here insert. I am going to write username admin and password also admin. Yeah. Don't use admin admin username password but because when you are going to make this website live and anybody want to hack your website, then by default they try to use this username and password but right now it is okay now here i am going to take username dollar username is equal to mysqli real step string dollar link and here i am going to take dollar score post username you all are thinking that why i use mysqli real step string this is for prevent sql injection so if you use this so SQL injection will not work here that's why now I am going to take password I need to check the name of password control yeah here also I need to give name sorry here name username and here also I need to give name password here we need to give required for validation required and here also we need to do required yeah that's fine so here username and here we need to take password and here i am going to take variable password that's fine now we need to use select query so mysqli underscore query dollar link then select 
star from admin login where username is equal to and password is equal to. here we can use dollar username and here we are going to use dollar password now we need to count how many records we found using this select query means if username password found then we will get greater than zero value but we need to store in variable dollar count is equal to mysqli underscore number of rows and dollar res now if dollar count is equal to is equal to zero it means invalid username password so for that i am going to enable this alert danger so here we need to give id error msc yeah so now i am going to write first of all script type text javascript and here document dot get element by id here error message dot style dot display is equal to block else means if we found record then then we forward from one page to another means we need to forward on another page so here also i am going to take this one means script and slash script and here we need to write window.location is equal to like demo.php but right now we don't have demo.php but no worry about it i am going to write invalid username password and you can see we got here message now i am going to write admin admin this is the correct username password and i am going to press this button and you can see we forwarded on demo.php but right now we don't have this demo.php that's why we got this error not found so in next video i am going to show you how we can make demo.php it means how we can make partition of admin side template thank you so much for watching my video if you like my video then please like it and share it thank you so much again